So this Bridge in the Gap video, we're going to talk about the importance of having a great work and life balance. Uh, oftentimes we feel like, you know, we need to be uh, the individual that stays late every day, hours past the, uh, the duty day. We need to crack our computers open and get things done 10 o'clock at night, send those emails out at midnight. You know, trying to show our, our, our superiors, trying to show our bosses that, you know, we're putting in the extra effort. Uh, that could be counterproductive. One, it can be counterproductive to your family, and it can be counterproductive to your own mental health, uh, your own physical health. Uh, you should be able to get what you need to get done during the duty day and have a good work-life balance. Be able to shut that off. Focus on your family so that that part of your life doesn't suffer. Because as you know, when your family life suffers, then that prevents you from being able to give your all uh, to the job as well. And in addition, most uh, most supervisors don't feel like just because you're the guy constantly sending emails out at 10 o'clock at night that that means that uh, you you work any harder than anyone else. Some may argue that by doing that, you're not managing your time properly uh, during the duty day. But we all know we've got a lot on our plates. Tempo's constantly high, constantly uh, increasing. But even so, it's important that we have that work-life balance. You're not gonna be able to get everything done. There's not enough time in the day. There's not enough personnel that you work with uh, full-time or, or part-time. There's not enough people to get it all done. So prioritize, understand what you need to get accomplished uh, that is a no-fail uh, type mission. Uh, recognize those things during the day. I would argue that you want to start the day and say, hey, what do I need to get accomplished by the end of the day? What's my go home criteria? And you get those things accomplished. And if you can't get everything done, then, you know, focus your efforts on uh, getting that stuff done the next day. Uh, reset because uh, you can't burn yourself out. It's a long career and you don't want to be somebody who burns yourself out too early because then either you're not going to be able to make it to the finish line or you're gonna be somebody that's so disgruntled uh, that by the time you do make it to the finish line, you're gonna be tapped out and are no longer gonna be an asset to the organization. And that's not what you want. You want by the end of your race that you still have the ability to get things done and uh, go even further. You know, somebody like my man, Tim Bush, Star Force Cast Tim Bush, who uh, by the time he finished his career, you could argue he could have went another 10 years I mean, he's somebody that ran through the tape, as I like to say. You know, those sprinters that like to run through the tape, they tell you all the time, don't stop short, run through the tape. That means give your all all the way through the finish line. And he's somebody that was like that. But I digress. And uh, just want to remind you the importance of that work-life balance. Make sure you're focused on that because you don't want to burn yourself out too early and you always want to be an asset to your family as well as the organization.